What's going on, everybody? Doc from Average Gamer, guys. We're back, and we've got our weekly public service announcement reminder. We've got week three of RLCS kicking off. We're going to talk through the schedule. We're also going to talk through after this. Uh, there was some news that came out, some additional uh, an additional forum posts and things like that uh, on the Rocket League page that talked about some additional stuff coming uh, in the autumn update. So I want to cover that stuff. Uh, but first and foremost, as you guys know, we're kicking off the weekend, so. When you're seeing this, it should be Saturday morning, and, uh, and we've got fan rewards. They're back. We've got week three of RLCS, so let's cover the schedule real quick for everybody. Uh, so kicking off Saturday, as the schedule pretty much stays the same each and every week, we've got uh, the North American RLCS League play starting at 12 p.m. Pacific time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, kicking off with Renegades and Alliance that you can see up on screen right now. Um, following them, Ghost and Cloud9 kicking off about an hour later, sitting right about 12.50 p.m. Pacific Time, 3.50 Eastern Time. Then we get FlyQuest and G2 Esports after that. Ghost then gets up its second match uh, against Allegiance, and then Renegades and FlyQuest will follow those up. And then uh, closing the week out, Cloud9 and G2 Esports, that'll wrap up. Uh, or should start right about 4.10 p.m. Pacific Time, 7.10 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, which is perfect for me because I'll still be able to watch some college football, um, which, as you guys know, if you're a fan of the channel, I love me some college football. Um, so that is the North American RLCS League play. Um, honestly, uh, didn't get a chance, a whole lot of chance to watch last weekend's. Uh, I did catch some of the matches. Really good. Uh, I really like what I'm seeing from Cloud9. Um, and some of the other teams, really, it's just fun to watch. Uh, I'm definitely no professional <laughs> Rocket League player, as you can see from the play on the screen. Um, but definitely enjoy it and, and really enjoy watching uh, these pros go after it. Because uh, some of the team plays, the passes, uh, just some of the moves they make are absolutely awesome. So definitely recommend, uh, if you're just kind of getting into Rocket League, check, check this out. Plus, uh, as always, you can get the fan rewards. Fan rewards, you're going to watch it on Twitch. It's on Rocket League's official Twitch channel, uh, so make sure to tune into that. If you can't find that, the best way to do it is to Google Rocket League. Go to the official page, and there's a Rocket League Championship Series little tab on the right-hand side. Click on that, and it will take you right to it. Um, I'll also post a link for uh, the schedule as well as all that stuff down below, so it's easy if you're watching this. You can just hop right over to Twitch and be ready to go. Um, so yeah, and uh, fan rewards, if you guys, again, don't know, make sure your Twitch account is linked up to your PSN or your Steam or your Xbox account. That way you get them. And the nice thing is I did get a few drops, I think, last week uh, for the few games that I did watch, but I'm hoping to get uh, a good amount of watching in this weekend and actually pick some stuff up. I've been on kind of a down trail with uh, just getting, like, uh, skins and stuff like that, which or decals, which, you know, isn't really bad. Uh, a nice one of the one of the toppers or something drop or some wheels would be pretty cool so anyways I digress uh, so that is Saturday league play starting off again at 12 p.m. Pacific 3 p.m. Eastern uh, Sunday uh, we will go over to Sunday here uh, which you should see up on your screen right about now uh, this kicks off earlier in the day uh, pretty again same schedule as we've seen for the last few weeks and you can Probably just uh, about slam this schedule into your calendar uh, for the next couple weeks moving forward because it seems pretty, pretty much the same. Uh, but league play for European uh, League on Sunday starts off with Frontline uh, versus Team Secret. That's kicking off at 9 a.m. Pacific. So if you're on the Pacific side, set that alarm. Make sure you get up and watch it. Uh, 12 p.m. for us on uh, Eastern Time, which is awesome, uh, which is perfect for me. Uh, second game kicking off for there, uh, we have Excel versus Team Envy. Uh, that'll round up out, you know, these are typically 50-minute matches, uh, so you'll see that kick off at about 9.50 a.m. Pacific Time. Then we have Maki Esports versus Flipside Tactics. Uh, Excel gets into their next game against Team Secret, uh, kicking off about 11.30 a.m. Pacific Time. Uh, Flipside Tactics then comes back to face off against Frontline, and then finishing the day up, you see there Team Envy versus Mocket Esports. That should uh, kick off right about 1.10, end in the stream right around 2 p.m. Pacific Time, 4.10 and 5 o'clock respectively Eastern Time. Uh, so that's what we got for the schedule. Really, again, looking forward to it. Uh, some great play on, on either sides of it, and some things are shaping up and wrapping around, and uh, and I, there's still been some surprises and things like that, so uh, I definitely think the RLCS, the championship, it's still open. A lot of team play still left to go. 
Um, but things are shaping up, and we're getting to see some teams be uh, pretty good, and some other teams, um, you know, still surprising us as well. So um, I think I actually prefer, honestly, to watch the European side. Um, the games, just uh, from my memory, at least from last week, seemed uh, a little bit more exciting. But um, yeah, definitely check out both days. Fan rewards for both days if you're not familiar. Uh, and that's what we got. So shifting gears a little bit. I uh, did want to talk about, we had a, a post on the Rocket League page uh, on Tuesday that talked about Autumn Update and talked about local matches and director mode. These are two things uh, I think a lot of people have been asking for. Local matches is one of those that it's kind of crazy that they've never had this before. Uh, but they're definitely kicking it off. And then director mode uh, really is going to change the game for a lot of people. Um, potentially even myself and Sloth here uh, as we continue to cover Rocket League because I think we'll be able to give you a, a different perspective uh, on each of these games. So let's talk about local matches. Land party time. So Rocket League, this is going to be for PC only when it kicks off. Um, is a local match option is going to finally you know, be available for, for those folks uh, on Steam and on PC. It means that you're going to be able to host and join LAN matches without the need for an internet connection, which is really, really cool. So you're going to be able to do that local thing if you've got a group of friends and everybody's got Rocket League and you want to bring everybody together or you're hanging out, uh, you can do that. You and up to seven of your LAN party going friends will be able to join the same match and enjoy all the different game modes, arenas, and mutators that Rocket League has to offer. Essentially, they're saying think private matches, but offline with no need to select a server region, which is really, really cool. Um, I definitely think that's going to help them uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, the competitive side of things. So RLCS actually isn't running LAN. It runs a, like on a special server that they had to create, from my understanding, for that. So it's pretty interesting, but uh, definitely something that the, they're working on. They're going to implement. Steam will get it first. Um, they do have plans to release for consoles in a future update, but for right now, it will be only for PC. Uh, so lucky you PC users out there. Uh, but hopefully we'll be seeing it pretty soon after the update uh, or somewhere down the line, hopefully before year's end for the consoles. Additionally, so the other thing, director mode. This is probably the one thing I'm most excited for uh, that we're talking about today is uh, essentially a new way uh, to watch, to spectate, and to see replays uh, in Rocket League. Uh, it comes with an update. It's a beta feature. They're going to put an AI in charge of the camera movement. Uh, as well as the placement while you watch replays or while you spectate matches. Uh, it has a, they, they talk about the deep analysis of match data, new camera controlling AI. Um, it's really setting it up to give viewers the best possible uh, position without having to push a button. So this is really, really cool. It's an option that you can select um, and we'll be able to select it when the, the autumn update comes out. It's going to be completely automated, uh, and it's going to be pretty similar. If you've watched RLCS before, it's going to be pretty similar, I think, to that, um, where it's going to try to select the player with the best percent chance uh, of making the next touch on the ball or having a save uh, or making a play at, or putting you in the best possible uh, position to see the field and see the action unfold. Um, which is really, really cool. They talk about streaming and spectating, having the speed and knowledge to shift between specific players instead of opting for wider shots, uh, which can make or break the look of a feel or video or stream, which is also good for us, again, because maybe we'll be able to show you a different perspective instead of you just watching me flop around. Um, so that's pretty cool. So director mode uh, is going to be in with the rest of the camera options so I believe you'll still be able to select all of the old camera options if you want or to just look from a specific player's perspective I think you'll be able to do that as well it does say it's completely uh, optional function um, it can also help you set up some manual controls later on which is pretty cool uh, especially if you're into the streaming thing or you want to showcase some of your matches um, so that's really what we got. The two really cool things, again, I think coming in this autumn update. Autumn update is literally right around the corner for us. Uh, kicking off again September 28th. Uh, so as the recording of this, we should see it in a little less than a week by the time you guys are watching this. So I'm really, really excited. It pops on Thursday. Um, yeah, I, you can bet that we'll definitely be covering that. We'll be trying to get some of those new uh, accelerator crates, trying to see some of these new items. Uh, and just give our uh, impressions. I definitely am really, really excited and ready for uh, the clear, transparent goalposts and definitely ready for a new crate uh, just to see some things. And speaking of which, with it only being less than a week away, I should probably go out and get some keys. 
seven day lock for those of you uh, that know <laughs> so this is a good public service announcement reminder to uh, go out get yourself some keys uh, before the new crates drop uh, that way you can unlock and you can trade those things right away if you so choose to so that's what we got if you want to see all the specs for uh, what I just uh, covered definitely check down below in the comments or in the description I'll have that link as well uh, I'll take you right to that uh, to that post so pretty cool so some good stuff going on in Rocket League uh, again get out this weekend check out some of the matches see some of the awesome awesome play uh, of the the pros that are out there right now and hopefully pick up some pretty cool fan rewards as well so i'm a doc with average gamer guys thanks for hanging with me for just a few minutes of your day uh, i really really do appreciate all the support to the channel uh, again we got a lot of coverage and a lot of stuff going on and as always uh, we will definitely be all over uh, the update when it comes out and trying to just showcase everything we got uh, and get some matches in and just have some fun maybe even think about uh, doing a stream here uh, in the near future and maybe getting into uh, some matches with you guys so thanks as always for watching appreciate it and uh, we'll catch you in the next video